How to perform a walkthrough for janitorial services. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com. You know, there's nothing better that you've been able to set an appointment with a prospect to do a walkthrough of their facility. So some of the things that you ought to think about is, uh, first of all, hopefully you've done some research on them and their business before you meet with them. The other thing that you want to do is that you want to make sure that you bring a notepad so you can take notes. Uh, because you're going to be asking a lot of good questions to uncover the information that you need uh, about their facility and, and their needs. So, uh, very important. Uh, something else that you want to probably bring with is a, your measuring wheel or laser measure because you probably want to ask them after you've done your walkthrough if you can go back through and measure the floor surfaces. Uh, because remember, if you're a full, full cleaning or full service uh, company, uh, you're going to need that information so you can give them different prices on cleaning carpets and maintaining hard floors and so on and so forth. But in either case, it's always a good idea to do that, you know, to measure, to measure the facility and uh, know uh, the square footage of all floor surfaces. So now you, you met with the person and you're doing your walkthrough. So one of the things that you never ever want to do is uh, never badmouth the current service. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's in-house or if it's an actual contractor. Don't make any comments about how dirty something looks or, or out of line things are. Uh, that's just not good. You know, after all, you know, that's why you're there. They know there's an issue. That's why they called you to, to, to give them a proposal. So uh, don't rub it in their face. Uh, the other thing is, you know, as you're walking through uh, the facility, you know, don't walk over to a, a spot and wave your hand across it and look at it. You know, just don't do that. Uh, that's unprofessional. Uh, I've seen that happen many, many times in many of walkthroughs that I've gone through with my competition. Uh, I've been there where my competition, uh, you know, they they brought their uh, assistants with them and things like that. And here they are having side conversations in the back, and you can hear that they're making snide remarks about the condition of the building and so on and so forth. Now, you just don't do that. Uh, it's very unprofessional, uh, and you just you just don't do that. Besides, all of your attention should be based on the prospect. They're walking you through the facility. Pay attention to what they're saying because you'll be able to pick up on some key factors uh, about the about the facility and the type of work that they want done. Now what I found out is that I generally will let them uh, you know, tell me what they need to say when we're in an area. Uh, but if I do have a question, you know, I will ask at that time. You know, uh, if I have any, any question about a surface or the frequency of uh, something that, that a task may be done. Uh, and or a position of a, like a trash can or if they're shredding, different things like that. So I will ask those types of questions as we're walking through the uh, walk, doing the walkthrough. But again, you want to pay attention to the prospect and listen to the, what they're saying. Um, you know, they're they'll uh, definitely they'll, they're more than likely going to tell you that uh, you know what they're not happy with. Um, and if they don't actually do that, then ask some good questions about you know if there's one thing that you could change about the current service, what would that be? So that helps you get a rapport going and, you know, them, you know, telling you about, you know, what it is that they don't like currently and what they might change. Because that's really the main key. Um, now, as you're doing the walkthrough and you're coming to, let's say, the president's office. Now, you know, there, make sure you pay attention and ask if there's anything special that, that the president wants done. Um, you know, you, you never know what it could be. Uh, I had several presidents uh, or CEOs of companies uh, where they wanted their trash can right in a specific place. And in fact, I had uh, had one one CEO that uh, their trash can was actually a cardboard box, and uh, that was quite interesting. But anyway, uh, when you get to those uh, the CEO's office, uh, ask for any specific instructions as to what they want. Should the door be locked? Should it be open? Uh, then you may may also you know offer information about how you how you guys uh, systematize things. So 
like for us, you know, when when uh, what we do is once we get an account and we know which doors need to be locked, left unopened, or or open or or door shut, what we do is that we use color coded dots, and sometimes I'll explain that to the prospect, and you know, so they understand that okay, well, you know, my company's got a system. Uh, so we know that uh, by looking at the color of dot, we know that that door is to be uh, closed and locked, or just closed, or just left open. Uh, and it's a great system. So it just uh, you know reinforces that you know we're professionals, and and we really uh, take uh, take note of what they're telling us. Uh, so so you know the if a door that's to be locked and shut it, uh, is is done. So anyway, uh, that's really the key is make sure that you ask a lot of good questions as you're going through the facility. Uh, now, if you're ever walking by a, a door um, and they don't go in there, ask them what's in there. Uh, is it a closet? Is it a storage area? You know, what is it? Uh, and uh, because it's important for you to know what areas of the building that you're going to clean. So maybe what's behind that door is a storage closet or whatever it is, but and you don't need to clean it. It's good to know uh, what you know what uh, what's behind behind the door. So then, as you go through, also uh, I had mentioned earlier about uh, shredding and other things. Well, ask them about that because you know do they want you to uh, to collect all the shredding and, and uh, put it in the dumpster or the recycling? Uh, you need to know that. Um, in some cases, you know, I've had some people during a walkthrough say that we, they'd like us to water some of their plants. Okay, so you just make note of that, and uh, you know, you're obviously going to have to adjust for that for for the pricing and so on and so forth. But the the key is to listen to what they're saying, ask good questions. When you come to restrooms, um, and you're talking about consumable products. Uh, you know, make sure that they're happy with what's being used currently, you know, such as toilet paper and hand, uh, hand towels and uh, uh, facial tissue. And uh, one of the things that you can do is that when you're in there, uh, in the restroom, you can always take a photo of the dispenser and the product itself. And then when you go into the janitorial's closet or the, or the storage closet, Try to look for the, uh, the the case packages or containers that the, the hand towels, toilet paper, and, and uh, soaps and stuff were in. So you can also take a photo of that. Because the key there is that you want to be able to provide the same type of product that they're currently use uh, that they're currently using if they're happy with it. So that's just a little tip that uh, you know, a little uh, tip that we've always done. Uh, it just makes it so much easier. Um, when you are uh, complete, have you once you've completed the walkthrough, you know, inform the person again. Just remind them that you want to go back through and measure the floor surfaces, and before you leave, uh, that you're going to stop in and uh, check in with them. So you know, I've done that many times because you know I don't want to waste the prospect's time. You know, having them follow me around as I measure uh, low, uh, measure floor spaces. Um, so that works out great, you know, and I do. Once I go through and do my measuring, and depending on the size of the facility, you know, I might be another hour yet before I'm done measuring everything. But once I've uh, completed that, I always stop by their office, let them know that I've got all the information that I need, uh, you know, and I thank them for their time, and then I also set up my next appointment date. So that's the one thing you always have to do whenever you do a walkthrough. Make sure before you leave that you have uh, set your next appointment date. Now, something else you want to do too is uh, when you're doing a walkthrough, normally you're not going to go outside. But make sure you ask questions about outside, uh, you know, such as do they want the parking lot cleaned? And also ask them where the dumpsters are. Uh, you know, there's been a few times where we've uh, gone and done a walkthrough and, you know, I forgot to even ask them that. And, uh, you know, and and you find out that uh, they're sharing a dumpster with their neighbors down down uh, you know half a block away or whatever it is. So it's important always to ask, find out where those dumpsters are. In some cases, you know, we've had some clients that have had dumpsters that are locked. Uh, you know, just because of the uh, type of information that they, that was being thrown in there, they have they always had it secured, and then they had a service come and dump it and so on, shred it and so on and so forth. But you know, these were very large dumpsters. Uh, 
So uh, make sure you ask those types of questions. And um, again, you know, that's why you got your notepad, you know, write down any notes that you may have. Um, uh, secure that next appointment uh, because whenever possible, always go and present your proposal in person. Uh, you know, it seems like you got a little better chance of closing that deal once you can get in front of them again and, pr and present your proposal. Uh, but you know, more and more commonly today, you know, people want you to email their uh, email the uh, the po proposal to them. Uh, you know, and that's that's fine. Uh, you can go ahead and do that, but then remember to let them know that you will be following up with them. Typically, what I do is after I've done a, a walkthrough with the prospect, I'll uh, tell them that uh, you know I'll have a proposal to them in such and such a time. I also ask them, well, when would they like the proposal? And uh, you know, so that way there, I know that okay, this is this is they want a proposal in three days, and then I'll set my next appointment, you know, for the third day, and I'll make sure I get get that proposal done. But anyway, you gotta you gotta make sure that you follow up. Uh, you know, many cleaning companies don't. I don't know how you can forget that step. But you know, if you've taken the time to do a walkthrough, you've created a proposal, and you you sent the proposal or presented a pr proposal. Why haven't you followed up yet to find out if they decided to go with you? But you have to do that. So, very important. But those are some of the things that you want to think about when you're doing a walkthrough for a janitorial service. So, you know, if you do, uh, if you do some of these things, you'll be fine. Uh, just, uh, like I say, don't uh, always act like a professional. And uh, ask a lot of good questions and you'll get the information you need to put together a winning proposal. So... Hopefully you like this information. Uh, if you did, go ahead and click on the like button uh, down below and share it with your friends. And uh, for those of you that have not uh, uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, you'll find hundreds of uh, videos on, on uh, how to run a cleaning company. And uh, many more to come. So until then, uh, until next time, we'll see ya.